give me all the best circuit protection and um, how to do it um, how to protect themselves from negative spirits, negative people, anything like that. Um, the main one really is um, psychic light, well white light as they call it a lot of the time um, and that's just imagining white light around you um, when you're just around negative people or all day if that's what you want to do. Um, this one doesn't really work for me I don't know why, it's just sort of personal. Different people have different things they do. Um, I use a star a lot of the time, so I imagine a big star above my head, above my head and that sort of brings light down. And I find it a lot um, I find it a lot less effort to do as well, so I can just imagine the star in the morning. Imagine it again at night and that's done. Um, though I do use a psychic light as well. Uh, do the white light, um, but that's more just to cleanse my aura, as they, as they say. Um, but that's to get rid of any negative energy that's been around during the day. So any anyone who's put anyone who's been negative around you leaves a sort of residue in your aura, if you get what I mean. Um, and if you use white light and um, imagine white light all around you, and that sort of gets rid of anything that's been there or has been put there in the day. Um, again with demons and thought forms and negative spirits you can do exactly the same thing um, you can just imagine the white light and sort of imagine it pushing them away um, and you can also if that doesn't work you can also um, use it in the shape of a cross as well um, but what I've, I've started doing is um, demons and thought forms particularly um, I've started imagining them chasing around after butterflies because that sort of distracts them from me if you get what I mean um, and it's quite funny to watch actually um, but that sort of gets rid of them and also um, if, if they sort of realise what, what you've done and um, come back at you I imagine them turning into a butterfly and then being eaten by a frog um, I just like to amuse myself really, to be honest. Um, also, um, you can you can invent your own little thing if that's what you want to do. I, I find it quite amusing, I like to humour myself. Um, I do use the white light though, and I, I use the star. Um, you can also do it with other people as well, so if you've got kids in the house that you're worried about, if there's negative energy in the house, you can use that. On, on the children as well because um, demons and thought forms do love um, targeting kids um, which is something you've got to look out for um, especially as kids can be more sensitive as they're, as they're younger um, but as long as you use the white light and um, cleanse your aura and things like that you're normally alright um, don't use Ouija boards anything like that um, it just sort of Imagine a big sign above your head saying, come and attack me. That's basically what you're doing. Um, so don't use a Ouija board to cleanse your aura. Um, also, you can use a mirror technique, which is um, imagining a big mirror in front of anybody negative, whether they're alive or dead. Um, and you imagine this big mirror facing them. So if they try and put any negative energy onto you, it sort of backfires that energy back at them. Um, that's a good one to use. Um, but yeah, you can use anything you want really. Um, when I do the white light, I find a lot of the time that it wears off. So I um, imagine a big tape measure sort of swirling around me. And in the tape measure, there's hours instead of centimetres or whatever. So it sort of wraps hours around me rather than anything else so it doesn't fade away. Um, but yeah, that's basically what, what you need to do. Um, you just sort of got to learn to protect yourself, especially if you're sensitive. Um, also, if you're an empath as well, you need to start using the white light and um, meditate as well. That's good. Um, also, meditation. If you, if you don't find the white light works, you can meditate. That's what I do because it just doesn't work really work for me. Um, I meditate and that sort of helps me clear my head and clear anything away. I do it after readings as well. Um, 
but yeah, it's pretty simple really. Um, leave me some comments, um, tell me what you think and I'll get back to you.